Panther constructed, and I wanted to go out this way, but that way. But I know what I'm gonna do now, I think. Okay, a little bit nervous. I'm second my guessing myself a little bit, but I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Let's hope. But if not, I'm only using half the fabric, so I should have enough room for mistakes. I'm just gonna go for it. messed up and I actually kind of did I cut the back but I think if I just put a pleat in the side that'll work it's made them wider anyways anyway I'm gonna go I purposely made this the bottom of him so I'm just gonna sew up here the inner pant leg and then sew these two U parts together and then we'll see how they look So, I did, um, I had decided to do French seams, but I forgot before I started sewing the pant legs. So the pant legs went on French seams. And I forgot about the French seams and I was gonna sew the crotch normally as well. But then, I accidentally pinned them together wrong, panicked in a minute, and then I remembered, wait, I was gonna do French seams anyway. So, this part does have a French seam, which I think is nice. It's a much nicer finish. Um, this is where I started to cut wrong earlier. But I decided it's okay, I can just do a pleat. It's gonna land right at the sides anyway. And that'll be perfect to make the waist just a little bit smaller because I did make the waist quite wide. So I'm gonna try these on and see how they fit. Okay, I'm excited. I thought these weren't gonna be voluminous enough, but definitely quite large. So um, I think what I'm gonna do is make waist about here with pleats do a belt right here I'm not sure what you can see over the camera so yeah next thing to do is make the top
the front and the back so the shoulder seams show this so the side seams um, look for some pink bias tape because I think that'll work well for the neckline I'm gonna work out the neckline I'm not exactly sure probably just gonna do round one um, we'll see though I'll have to look around at some designs um, so so also the front and back together at the shoulder seam and at the side seam then this is the sleeve it will be sewn this way and then all of this will be bunched and gathered onto here. Hopefully it works. Um, bodices and sleeves are the things that are harder for me to make my own patterns for. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I used to do this all the time when I was younger for my dolls and stuff, and it actually turned out pretty well. And then I started doing it for my sisters too. Um, and it worked well, but for some reason, applying those same things to myself is hard. Um, Actually, how I used to do that was I would just cut um, a long rectangle <laughs> and I'd match it up, cut the neck hole, cut the armholes, and I just kept playing with it until it worked. And it wasn't the most, it wasn't the best way to conserve fabric, but it did work and I made some tailored dog, doll clothes, not dog, doll clothes that actually turned out pretty cute. Anyway, I'm gonna go sew that and then we'll see how it works. I think I want to do a waistband, um, but I'm not sure. We'll see.
so excited. This is Link Sleeve Perfection. How to do the other one. So the dress, that dress, the pantsuit, is nearing completion. I'm so excited. I hope I can finish it tonight. It is 7.56. I thought about doing, um, so this is what needs to be done. I need, I decided I'm gonna add pockets because as I was cutting out the top, I realized, I'm like, this will be so easy to add pockets in. I even have that mistake that I made um, cutting the side and I can just insert a pocket. So I'm definitely gonna add pockets. Um, I decided I'm doing a pleat in the front center because otherwise the crotch area just looked weird. Um, and I was trying to decide if I wanted, I was trying to decide if I wanted zipper or buttons. I saw a lot of these that had buttons on the back and I liked that look. But I don't want to deal with, first of all, that would be a tight squeeze for fabric because you have to have like an inch on either side. So that I'd take out two inches on the back and I think that'd just make it a little bit too tight. So I don't want to do that. And I don't want to do buttonholes. I haven't really done buttonholes before. I kind of have a couple times, but I really don't feel like learning how to do that tonight. Um, Cause I'd have to relearn how to do that. I've only done it maybe three times in my life in the last 15 years that I've been sewing. So I do have this. Oh, and with the zipper, I'm like, oh, it feels a little bit modern. I don't know. I just didn't feel like doing a zipper. Then I remembered I have this white vintage metal zipper that I found for like 10 cents at the thrift store. It was actually in a bag of other things, so. I don't remember exactly how much it was for exactly the zipper, but I got this with some thread and things, and this is a white metal zipper. It is 10 inches. I thought it was a seven inch. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. This is like the perfect length and it's metal zipper and it's vintage and that just feels fitting. Um, so I think I'm gonna do this in the back. <sighs> I'm trying to get, to get my hopes up too high, um, but they're starting to get pretty high because the sleeves <laughs> I'm so excited anyway so back to what needs to happen put the zipper in finish off the collar um I need to see if I have any bias tape to do the collar because I'd like to have bias tape I'm gonna finish so I'm gonna do an armband that's just a little bit loose um to go right over my elbow um make it an inch or two too big Probably two and probably an inch and a half too big around because I don't want it to be tight. I want it to be loose. I thought about doing elastic, but that would make it full all the way around, and I don't want that. So I'm gonna do an armband to finish off the hem or the sleeves. Then the sleeves are done. But finish the collar and then put in the zipper. So three things: armband, neckline, zipper, and then I need to decide how I'm going to connect the pants to the top um, and connect them. I also need to make pockets and if I'm going to make a waistband I need to do that and I'm probably going to make a tie for it so I've got like seven more things to do but they're all relatively small. Um, it might be a little bit of a late night but for me at least but I think we can get it done. I'm so excited.
my light is not currently working in here, so I'm gonna release. And yeah, I could go to another room, but I'm not. So this is my sleeve edge. It is still raw. This is the piece I cut for the armband. I cut it twice as wide as I needed, and the width around um, my arm where I want the sleeve to land, plus like another inch and a half. And I am going to sew this together to make a tube and then do the same gathering thing that I did. Um, by the way, I'm going to French seam this. Um, or no, yes I am. I'm going to French seam it. And then I'm going to start pinning all of my fabric to one side of this um, on the edge of the sleeve, gathering it just like I did the last one time with the um, same amount of no gathering on there just like i did on the sleeve that area of no no gathering so that underneath my arm it's not all, a lot of fabric then i'll gather the rest of the fabric to the rest of the armband anyway that's what i'm gonna do because I'm going to do some hand sewing. Um, the sleeves, I have them, like I said, I did all the gathers towards the top. Um, and now I have this uh, band. I used the edge of the sheet so that this would already be hemmed. So I don't have to worry about keeping raw edges folded in. Um, and I'm just going to fold this inside over this raw hem, raw gathering. And I will, if I can figure out how to do it, I'm going to do a blind stitch so you can't really see it. The nice thing is, is I did try this on. I'm not going to show it yet because I want to wait until it gets all done. But it's perfect because this sleeve goes right over the band so you don't even see it. Which is nice because I didn't really want the look of a band. I just want a really puffy sleeves. Um, I could have made this band a little bit larger. I did probably about an inch or, and a half larger than my arm. But... Because I did French sleeves, um, French hems, it ended up being a lot smaller. So I probably would do like two inches next time. Two inches larger, maybe even two and a half. Um, but it will still work. I can still like run my fingers through the on the inside of the sleeve while it's on. Um, and it keeps it higher. Um, keeps it from sliding down. Anyway, I'm just going to sew this down on the inside on both sleeves. I could wait until morning. I probably should, but... I really want to get it all done tonight just because I looked at what time I started and I started at 4 30 and it is 10 17 so it's been about six hours which I've had several delays and I stopped to eat supper and things like that got distracted several times so I don't feel like that's too bad but I'd like to finish it tonight instead of in the morning though I'm thinking I may have to wait until morning just so that my brain's clear for figuring out the collar and the zipper in the pockets I might just have to stop after doing this but we'll see we'll just take it as it goes so it is 11.02 that took me way too long almost an hour so that's really sad but um part of that is because I had a really thick needle um I couldn't find a smaller one and also because I've never done this like, I've done this stitch before, but it's been a long time, and I don't do it that often. Um, so I was kind of relearning how to do that. It's not really that hard to do, but I finally finished it. I'm really glad that I finished it that way because it just looks so much nicer. You don't see any stitches on this side. Um, like, if you really look, you can see in a couple places a little pink thread, but it's not, like, a visible row of stitching. And, yeah, it's just finished really well. I'll do a better video later. Um, totally gonna be showing off the stitchery on this since I am actually doing it properly this time. <laughs> doing mostly French seams and blind stitches and it's just making me so happy. Oh, I'm so excited. I did decide though, even though I wanted to get it all done tonight, that took me like an hour um, and it would take me probably about 45 minutes to the other side. So it'd be almost midnight before I got the other sleeve done. Um, 
and I was considering stopping there, but I decided I'm just going to stop here now because I think I'll do a much better job in the morning and it's easy to just be like, oh, it's fine, I'll push through it and I'll get it all done tonight and I'll be able to be like, yeah, I got it all done X amount of time, but I know I'll be happier with it if I wait, figure out the neckline, the zipper, the pockets, the connecting of the two and doing that last sleeve tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with where this is going. Um, this fabric, I love that like, there's little tulips on it. And I like that it's a pattern without it being too bold of a pattern. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go to bed because my eyes are itchy and I'm tired. <laughs> so I'll see you in the morning. So, good morning. Um, it's a bit, quite a bit later than I was hoping to start this morning. It is 10.28, even later than I expected, but look at my cute new phone screen. Um, Studio Sash just put out her um, May wallpaper, and I always have so much fun switching it over. Anyway, that's besides the point, but I didn't get it as early of a start as I was hoping this morning, but... I have some coffee and I'm going to do the, I'm going to start by doing the other sleeve, which will be a nice relaxing morning project, even though it's been morning already, but it'll be fun to do. I'm going to do that and then figure out, um, so I'm going to put some pleats at the next, at the next, at the neck and the under bust and then put a zipper in the back because I purposely made the bodice front and back larger than they needed to be. Um, I'd rather them be larger than too small um and I wanted to do a couple little pleats anyway so I'm gonna do that put a zipper in the back uh, which means I need to figure out my collar um so what I'll probably do is try it on um the shoulders are a bit off shoulder because they're a bit broad so I want to bring them up onto the shoulder because I consider doing off the shoulder sleeves but I like to look better of it like actually on my shoulder so I need to figure out how large to make the neckline so that this, it actually sits properly on my shoulders um and then I will cut the neckline to be that much larger and figure out where I want my pleats all of the foam is going away from my coffee um so I'll figure out how large the neckline needs to be in order for the shoulders to sit properly then that will determine how large to make my pleats and how many of them to make and I will pin those um figure out how much room in the back to leave for the zipper pin it back so I can kind of figure out how big I need to make my bias tape um I will do a top stitching I think the best way to do this will be to get my neckline the proper size um and then put the pleats in at the neck and do a top stitching um install my zipper and then finish the neckline um I think that'll be the easiest way to do it because I don't want to do my neckline and then cut it and whatever yeah I don't think it's going to really work. So I'll save the neckline for whenever the um, zipper is installed. Um, my plan is to just get the bodice completely done before figuring out pockets and waistband and all that. Because that will just give me a better idea of what to do. Um, so yeah, let's get started.
Thank you.